right. Best part of the fucking day. <laughs> best part of the day. Can we please talk about Eli Apple? Oh, my God. He's <laughs> so poverty. Okay. I get it. Let's just get right into this Eli Apple story. For anyone who's been living under a rock in the NFL world right now, Eli Apple, corner for the Bengals. He was drafted in the first round a few years ago. Uh, he came from the Panthers, I believe, but he was drafted to the Giants. Either way, he was a very highly touted corner coming out of the draft. Like, he's supposed to be very good. He ended up being pretty good. And he ended up being, I would say, mediocre. And he is been solid six or seven out of ten for this Bengals defense. I get people want to hate on Eli Apple, but he's not actually horrible. He's been six or seven out of ten until, of course, they beat the Chiefs, and he is talking. He comes out of the fucking woodworks to talk mad shit like this man has been Darrell Revis for the past ten years. Like, he's Darrell Revis mixed with Jalen Ramsey, mixed with prime Richard Sherman, and he's been clamping dudes for ten years. Talking fucking crazy on Twitter. He tweets at Tyreek Hill. He says he a baby and then ats him, you know, after he tackled him, which was a good play by Eli Apple, right? So he's just fucking stirring drama. But number one, by the way, I think some people say like, oh, NFL players all talk shit. Well, sure, in the game, I think all NFL players, regardless of how good they are, are talking shit to each other. But rarely do you see guys actually on, like causing Twitter beef like we're in high school, you know? Mm -hmm. You rarely see that and you definitely don't see it from a guy who's not earned it. True. I like True. Eli Apple. I think he's a talented corner. No, in no universe can you be on Twitter talking shit to Tyreek Hill and the Chiefs after winning like one playoff game against him. Like, yeah. come on, man. You got to be humble. Uh, and basically, it was, there was two scenarios after he did all this shit. There's two scenarios. Either you win the Super Bowl, you play well, and now people are like, bet. He backed it up. I didn't respect it, but he fucking backed it up. Or you lose. And in that second scenario where you lose, you're going to get roasted no matter how well you play. Well, oh, wait a second. All of a sudden, there's a third option. Not only did you lose, but you got fucking torched. <laughs> he got torched. Burn There's no this. better way to put it, uh, dude. Like, burnt, the burnt toast burnt. memes are not a joke. We literally, we're sitting there watching the game, and on that first Cooper Cup touchdown, a casual, any casual in the world could watch Cooper Cup starting to run that route. Before Stafford even threw it, me and Chase looked at each other. We're like, Cup, touchdown. That's a fucking touchdown. He got destroyed. And basically, the whole NFL world thought that this was so funny that they all tweeted about it. You know you fucked up if players from all different teams are just shitting on you on Twitter. Yeah. You basically broke like an unwritten rule. That's what I would call an unwritten rule. Very true. Right? Because anybody yep. can do what Eli Apple did. Everybody's got their phone out after a game. They can talk shit to whoever they want to, but you don't do it. Especially unless you haven't earned it. If Tom Brady wanted to talk shit to somebody, even then you'd be like, what are you doing, bud? Yeah, that's but just still, bad karma. Like, that's yeah, just, it's, just, it's just, horrible karma. Just got bit right in the so ass. let's take a look at this article. You can see every single tweet from all these NFL players. They're so funny. Are they all um, on here? Most of them are, yeah. If you scroll up, you, it, there's a lot more to scroll down through, but if oh, you want to okay. scroll down to right here, I'll start, I'll start with here. Right so here? Okay. Cooper Cup finishes the game with two touchdowns. He wins Super Bowl MVP, uh, and for some reason, Eli Apple was mirroring him. And also, he's in single coverage on that final play, which, I, to be honest, I'm not even that mad at Eli Apple. There's very few people who are going to guard Cooper Cup one-on-one -on -one in that scenario. It's just hilarious that it was Eli Apple. It was just a dime, too. Literally I mean. just watching that, you're like, bro, that better not be Eli Apple. That better not be Eli Apple. <laughs> Turns around, Apple on his jersey. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm smoking that. that. I'm smoking that Apple pack, boy. I'm so happy when it was that, when it yeah. was him. Oh, my God. While with the Giants. Giants, Eli Apple's teammate at the time, Landon Collins, who's a fucking stud, referred to Eli Apple as cancer oh, wow. in 2017. He was eventually suspended by the team for a pattern of behavior that is conduct detrimental to the team. Wow. Damn. So we're, we're backtracking to 2017 here. So flash forward a little bit. One of Eli Apple's former teammates at Ohio State and now with the Saints, uh, Michael Thomas, chimed in quickly on Twitter. He said, Eli going to Eli. This was after the Super Bowl. They were teammates at Ohio State and on the Saints. So even having like the college bond, I, apparently Michael Thomas is shitting on him. He must just be a shit. He, he must, must be a dickhead because he played yeah. with all these dudes. Yeah. Right? Like, how do you play with them in college and on the Saints and he still doesn't like you? You have to do a lot. I guess so. You have so. to do a lot. Yeah. Let's keep scrolling down. Oh my God. So, number one, the McCole Hardman one is the best fucking tweet, but you can't find it on Twitter anymore. I guarantee McCole Hardman's like PR team stepped in. So, the timeline for this was Eli Apple after the Super Bowl. He tweets out, not the Super Bowl, Eli Apple after 
after beating the Chiefs, tweets out and says, hey, at McCole Hardman, at Tyree Kill, I got two Super Bowl tickets for you guys on me. Now, honestly, it would have been kind of hilarious if they actually asked him for those tickets because mm -hmm. it's like 20 grand, <laughs> you know, and he's going to need that money after he gets cut. So I don't know. I mean, shit, <laughs> you might have asked him for it. Either way, he says, at Eli Apple, it's cool, big bro. You might get one of these one day. But in the meantime, just go get better at your craft. In a video of the ring. Wow. That is fucking savage. So savage. Holy That's shit. That's fucking savage. He also said, wish he was better corner bro than the game when he does that one of his card on you. Holy shit. Did he like reply I, to this I, at I, all? No, he didn't reply. <laughs> he turned his phone off, deleted Twitter, signed out. He's in uh, ice. He's hiding under a rock right now. He's in the middle uh, of the Rockies. He's not on Twitter. I hope he's not on Twitter. Pictures of burnt toast making fun of Apple getting burned and smoking memes, teasing Apple getting smoked by wideouts, flooded Twitter, and Saints cornerback CJ Garner Johnson was loving it. All I see is Apple Pack or the burnt pit toast. He deserves this shit so much, dude. It's one thing right where the Chiefs guys are tweeting out. At him and just talking shit to him. These are your former teammates all talking yeah. shit about you on Twitter. You must have fucked up. Like that Gardner really? Johnson and Michael Thomas, that's former teammates. McCall Hardman, you you openly talk shit. I know Lamar Jackson and Hollywood Brown were talking shit too, so we need to scroll down. I'm hoping those are in there. Oh no, it's Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman tweets out an apple. Hollywood Brown tweets Apple Pat going to hit hard in LA and then Lamar Jackson <laughs> quote tweets it with him smoking the Apple Pack. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Fuck, dude. Either way, yeah, I mean, that's fucking hilarious. Dude. What do you say? So I get on memeing, right? I do think Eli Apple's pretty good corner. He's not actually going to get cut by the Bengals, right? I was just going to, that's what I was going to ask you. I was going to say, do you think he's actually going to get cut? I don't think you get cut for a bad performance in a Super Bowl. I don't think you do. I think you'll get retained because you were solid for most of the season. Yeah, yeah. I, he had one horrible blown coverage. The first Cooper Cup touchdown, completely blown coverage by Eli Apple. It was embarrassing. He got fucking torched. Yeah. Second one, it's the defensive coordinator's fault. It wouldn't. Who are you going to put over there that's actually going to guard him? You put a linebacker over there on Cooper Cup so that he can't moss you. He's going to route you up. Oh, you put. Yeah. You have to put Jesse Bates and Eli Apple on him. Double team. Every single time you're in the red zone right there. It's the defensive coordinator's fault. I don't blame Eli Apple for that. He just got outplayed because he's not that good. Would Jalen Ramsey have gotten torched like that? I don't think so. I was just so. going to say, Jalen no. Ramsey no. had a pretty bad game. Yes, he did. He got torched. He got torched on that. You see him get torched on fourth mm -hmm. and one, where where the, the the final play of the game that yeah. he had Ramsey beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did not have a good game. Really, all the corners got exposed. You're going up against the number one and arguably the number two wide receiver in the league. What are you going to do? Landis says, what a coincidence Urban Meyer coached Eli Apple. Don't talk <laughs> shit about Urban Meyer. Yeah. Maj, ban him. <laughs> right fucking now. I'm just kidding. You know, old heads are going to be fucking pissed. But this single season by Cooper Cup is better than any single season Jerry Rice ever had. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's true. He's, he's he damn near got Megatron's receiving yards record, which maybe you don't count because he had an extra game. Okay, let's say he had 1,837 yards in 16 games. But the Triple Crown Offensive Player of the Year Super Bowl MVP has never been done by anybody. It's fucking crazy that he did that. That's so awesome.